this package in from Amazon. And Lily, really, do you have to drink like a camel as soon as I hit record? Can you finish? Are you done? So these are from Flavor God. Um, is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, yeah, Flavor God. Um, and this was a five pack for $40. What intrigued me most about this, I was searching Amazon for garlic wine salt. Um, and they didn't have any, which is interesting because I thought that would be a pretty common thing. But this came up, which was pizza flavoring. And I was like, dang, pizza flavoring? And so they had this five pack and they have an everything pizza, uh, everything spicy garlic lovers, which I'm really excited for. And then lemon garlic. This was $40. And these are pretty big. I mean, this is a normal sized spice, like garlic salt. And look at how much bigger they are. I'm really excited to try these out. I think this will kind of spice up my chicken. I could probably put them on veggies and lots of good stuff. Today has been quite the day, I tell you. It has been the craziest Monday ever. I just got home, Lily's puking all over the place. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what you guys care about. So today starts my gluten-free week. And I already completely ruined that. So this morning I was not thinking at all and I just grabbed leftovers. So yesterday was Father's Day. I went out with my dad. Um, we went to Tagliani's, which is an um, Italian food restaurant. And I got pasta and breaded chicken. I got chicken parmesan actually on top of a bed of spaghetti. And I only ate half of the meal and I saved the other half for leftovers. And I wasn't even thinking I grabbed it for lunch and then, ah, why am I zooming in so close? I grabbed it for lunch and then come lunchtime I pulled it out and I was like, shoot, I was supposed to start gluten free this week. So um, anyways, I think I'm going to have to start tomorrow or I can start right now actually. Granted, I ate pasta and breaded chicken for lunch, which is definitely not gluten free. But um, I'm going to start now. So I stopped at Sprouts on the way home and I just grabbed a few things. I bought a lot of gluten free stuff. Uh, the last couple of weeks to kind of prepare for this, but I realized it's a lot of pasta. So I got two of these little pasta things from Target, um, but it, you know, it's pasta. And then I grabbed some gluten-free granola that I haven't tried yet. I also have some more gluten-free pasta up there. And then I just kind of realized I am filling it up with a uh, pasta and stuff. I also grabbed a gluten-free pizza last the, not last week, but the week before. So I have that kind of stuff, but I feel like those are not... Oh, I also have gluten-free granola bars, kind granola bars. But I didn't, like, get staples, like food. Like, I can't eat pasta every day, and I can't eat pizza every day. So I decided that I need to get, like, different stuff. So I stopped at Sprouts on the way home, and here's what I got. Okay, so I got some broccoli and I got some romaine lettuce for salad. I got more cotton candy grapes. These are super delicious, quite expensive. This whole thing was like $8, which is a lot. So that sucks. Uh, but I got some gluten-free croutons to go on my salad. I got some more of that shredded chicken. It is expensive about five dollars for this but this was like perfect for Caesar salad I also got some pinto beans I have never ever made pinto beans so I will have to Google search and figure out how to make these because I have absolutely no idea I got a box of gluten-free cereal now I don't usually eat a whole lot of cereal I used to be a cereal lover but I realized that it's just really not that great for you there's not a whole lot of nutrition in it but there is about a night or two a week where I just get so lazy and I don't want to cook dinner or breakfast and so I just have a bowl of cereal so I got that and then I also got some gluten-free panko style breadcrumbs to make like chicken fingers so I have a lot of questions like does coffee have gluten in it does oatmeal have gluten in it like if I just eat like oats like just oats like this rolled oats does that have gluten in it does rice have gluten in it? Like I have brown rice right here. Does that have gluten in it? Do granola bars typically have gluten in it? And so like there's a lot of stuff that I just, I don't really know. So be kind as you're watching this vlog because I might eat something that's not gluten free, like not on purpose, but because I just 
have no idea that it's not gluten-free. So that's my disclaimer for this gluten-free week for you guys. But please leave feedback down below um, if you know so you can help me next time. But yeah, that's the plan. So because I had such a heavy, heavy, heavy pasta lunch, I think I'm just going to have a light dinner tonight. I think I'm maybe just going to make a quick Caesar salad. But um, I'm going to cook some of these beans because everything I've read says you have to cook beans for like eight hours in the crock pot. So I think I'm going to cook those overnight tonight. That way I can have them for dinner tomorrow. So I think I'm going to do that. But yeah, gluten-free week starts now. Okay, I've done my bean research and apparently you have to soak beans overnight. Then you have to cook them for like three hours after you soak them. So I'm probably going to soak them tonight, cook them tomorrow night, and eat them like in two days. Pick through the beans and take out any beans that look shriveled or unappealing. Okay, so that is what seven cups of water looks like. I don't know if I could fit an eighth cup in there. Plus it said six to eight. I'll meet them halfway. So we'll let this soak overnight, I guess. So I'll just like leave it hanging out. So for dinner, while my beans are soaking over there, I think I'm actually just going to do a yogurt with some granola and some berries because believe it or not, it's already 7 o'clock. I know it's bright outside, but the sun is setting out there and I don't like to eat this late usually. I usually eat at like 5.30. So here's what I think I'm going to do. For one, this yogurt's probably going to go bad soon, so I don't want to waste it. It expires... July 16th, so I guess I have a couple days. These berries are definitely going bad, and these berries are probably okay for another few days, but I'm just going to make um, a half a cup of this Greek yogurt here, some berries, and then some gluten-free granola on top, and that will be my dinner. Okay, I look like a hot mess because I just woke up. So it is now 5.42 in the morning. This is the time I wake up every day, guys. Welcome to my world. But here are my beans, and they definitely expanded a lot. I mean, there's still water floating on the top, but, like, they definitely expanded a lot. So I'm going to drain them and then cover them up and then put them in the fridge. So I cooked two eggs, or I scrambled two eggs with a little tiny bit of butter on the pan so they didn't stick to the pan. And then I have some turkey bacon. So turkey bacon, this is actually low sodium. Uh, it's right there, you can't really see it. Low sodium Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. So it's only 30 calories per slice, and this is two and a half slices. I just cut them in half. Um, and I cook it in the microwave. So you cook it for like two and a half minutes in the microwave. It works fairly well. Let me turn off my hand. And then for my eggs, the trick that I have been, oh, come on, open up, there we go, is two uh, teaspoons of salsa. So this is just some salsa. I think I got it at Sprouts maybe. And I add that to my eggs and it makes for a really, really tasty egg. Um, I'm not really a fan of eggs typically, but this adds a really nice kind of spiciness. I mean, and you can get salsa that's mild if you don't like spicy. Um, and it just kind of breaks up the egg taste. I actually usually put the salsa in when the eggs are like super liquidy, but I forgot and I was recording this video. So, but if you mix it in and you just cook it like that, it actually tastes really, really good. That way you don't have to add any salt or any pepper or really anything to your eggs except for that salsa. And it's really good. Mm -mm. I've already eaten most of it, but Oh, so as Lily, this is what it looks like. So the crispy bacon's like super duper crispy. I really like it that way. And here's the eggs. Well, <laughs> there's like a half an egg left. Okay, it is now 5.30, so I've been up for 12 hours now. But I just got home from work. Here's the time. In case you don't believe me, you probably don't care. Uh, but now I'm going to cook my beans. So the instructions online say to put your beans in a giant pot, cover them with water, and then let them simmer for three hours. So if that's the case, I wouldn't be able to eat dinner until 8.30, and that is way too late for me. So I'm going to cook my beans today and then eat them tomorrow.
tomorrow with dinner. <laughs> but I still need to figure out something for dinner today. I'm feeling very, very lazy today because I had such a long day and I just got home from work. So I think I'm going to make my gluten-free pizza tonight. Um, yeah. So I didn't really snack too much today. I actually did something a little bit different for work, so I wasn't able to sit at my desk and snack all day. What is Lola eating outside? What are you doing? What are you, are you being gluten-free, Lola? Are you being gluten-free? Hey, hey, I see you. Lola, come here. So what I was trying to say is I couldn't sit at my desk and snack all day, which is totally fine with me because it made me eat really healthy. So for breakfast, I had my eggs that I showed you guys, um, eggs and turkey bacon. And then for lunch, I went to Chipotle, but here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but at Chipotle, instead of ordering a burrito bowl or a salad or a burrito or tacos, you can actually order just sides of things. So if you order just a side of brown rice and chicken, which you can do, that's a thing, you can do that. Um, your total is only like $5 instead of $8 or $9 in Arizona, at least. Let me preface that. In Arizona. So it's only like $5, maybe a little bit under $5. It kind of just depends on the place you go to. And it's under 400 calories. I think it's like 380 calories, I think, if you do that. So I went to Chipotle, and that's what I did. I got a side order of brown rice and a side order of chicken, and that was my lunch, and that's it. And I think brown rice is gluten-free. I'm pretty sure rice is gluten-free, I think. So that's all I've eaten today, which is actually like really, really, really good accomplishment for me. So, I, oh, no, 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 I actually had a snack, too. I had one of these right here. So these are gluten-free, um, yeah, they say gluten-free on them, kind bars, and these have, I think, 140 calories in them. They actually weren't that bad. I was expecting them to be a little bit, you know, not good, but they were pretty tasty. They were chewy and a little bit crunchy and really good. So I think I'm going to do the gluten-free pizza, and I think the gluten-free pizza was relatively healthy well um so here's the gluten-free pizza if you recall from one of my sprouts hauls a couple of fitness fridays ago i bought this anticipating my gluten-free week and this has let me show you 290 calories not bad at all one gram of sugar 13 grams of protein and five grams of fat so this is actually a relatively healthy pizza i think if i would have gotten just the cheese instead of the pepperoni i'll bet that that saturated fat would go down um, cause it is actually kind of a lot of saturated fat. They're being very sneaky here guys. And I didn't catch this before, but you always want to check the serving size and how many is in the, per, in per, ugh, in the container. Um, so I thought this was only 290 calories for the whole pizza. It's 290 calories for half of the pizza. And so that means if I eat the whole thing, I'm eating 10 grams of saturated fat, which is 50% of what I'm supposed to eat in the day, which is actually a lot. But that brings it up to 26 grams of protein, which is great. So I didn't catch that actually until I entered it into my fitness pal. So I was entering in all my food for the day. And I'm actually doing fairly well. So if I eat only half the pizza, so there's my breakfast. I have the eggs, the turkey, the salsa, my um, coffee, and then my coffee creamer. So that's 265 calories. And then for lunch, see, chipotle, brown rice and chicken is only 350 calories, and I ate the whole thing. And then I plugged in, oh, my my snack right here, so 140 calories. And then the dinner, I plugged it in, and it said a half a pizza, and I was like, what? So if I only eat half of the pizza, here's what I look like for the day. So I'm at 145 calories, which is really good. You want to eat at least 1,000, sorry, 1,045 calories. You want to be sure you at least eat a thousand calories in one day anything below that and you're actually not eating enough so that brings me in like right at a good spot and then if we look at the macros um it's actually really really good macros i mean i would prefer my protein to be at 30 percent as opposed to 25 percent but it's not terrible macros um if you don't know about macros then you should definitely do some research but basically, you want to get like 30, 33%, like equal portions of everything throughout the day. Um, more protein if you're trying to build muscle, yada, yada. You can do some research on it. But for me, for my goals, equal parts of everything is actually really good. So here's what the pizza looks like after it's cooked. Um, I've never had a gluten-free pizza before. I have seen them before, but this one just seems like 
just kind of looks like a normal thin crust pizza. It does look like half the pizza is probably not going to be enough for dinner. I'm either going to have to eat the whole thing and just call it a day. Or I might uh, maybe like make a little side salad. Um, but yeah. So that's what it looks like. By the way, I don't know if I told you guys this already or if I just told Snapchat. I get mixed up when I do Snapchat and vlogs at the same time. What are you staring at, dog? My dog is so weird. Look at her. What are you doing? What are you staring at? What are you staring? Literally, she's staring at the door. So like I was saying, I don't know if I told you guys this or just Snapchat, but everybody right now is talking about the Taco Bell Cinnabon Delights, and I really, 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 really want to go try them because for one, I love Taco Bell. For two, I love Cinnabon, but they're probably not gluten-free. Like, it's probably a sure thing that they are not gluten-free, and they're probably really, really bad for you. So I'm going to try to resist. I'm going to try to pass. Maybe that'll be my treat for getting through a full week of gluten-free. Maybe I'll treat myself with a small order of Cinnabon Delights. to talking to you guys like I don't know what I'm talking about because I didn't I knew nothing about gluten-free living or diets prior to today when I actually sat down and did some research did some Google searches found some really cool websites the website that I found that I've really been finding helpful is glutenfreeliving.com and they outline the stuff that is for sure gluten-free the stuff that you should for sure stay away from and the stuff that's kind of like a maybe so to answer some of my questions that I had a couple of days ago um, brown rice white rice all of that is gluten-free uh, beans are gluten-free um, what was the other thing that I was questioning? Coffee. So coffee beans, the actual bean themselves is gluten-free, but you have to be careful with like cross-contamination. Um, so if you're ordering from Starbucks and you have something like added to it that has gluten in it, which I don't know what that would be, but you have to be careful for stuff like that. But so I'm pretty good with a lot of the stuff that I have been eating. And I also did some searches for the best gluten-free like fast food or takeout food because um, when I'm eating lunch at work, I try to be really good to bring my lunch to work, but I don't always bring my lunch to work. And Chipotle actually came up as one of the best restaurants to go to for gluten-free and vegan and vegetarian. So that'll be good when I do my vegan. Uh, but pretty much everything on the Chipotle menu is gluten-free except for their flour tortilla. Tortillas. So their taco tortillas, their burrito tortillas, anything that's a flour tortilla is not gluten-free. But literally every single thing other than that on the menu is gluten-free. So you can get corn tortillas, their chips are gluten-free, their rice, their beans, everything is gluten-free. For breakfast, I had another one of those um, yogurt parfaits. So I had some honey, Greek yogurt, and berries, and then gluten-free granola topping, and that was my breakfast. I've been trying not to snack throughout the day, for one, because I'm actually trying to lose weight and snacking doesn't help, and for two, a lot of my snacks have gluten in them. As far as health goes, I feel okay. The only thing is I have like a little mild headache like right here on my head that won't go away it's like right here it's like a teeny tiny headache that's just kind of been lingering for the past day and a half I don't know if that has anything to do with going gluten-free and maybe my body's craving bread or carbs or things like that or gluten um, but that's the only thing I haven't felt sick or anything so that's good but so here's what it looks like. It's a decent size, although I feel like they always get really, really confused when I just ask for a side of chicken and a side of rice, because I went to this same exact Chipotle yesterday, same location and everything, and they charged me uh, $4.50, and today they charged me $4.75. 
So I think maybe the employees aren't really too sure what to do when you ask for just a side of chicken and a side of rice. Looks like there was some spillover from veggies in there. but And then I just sprinkle on a little bit of the green um, jalapeno Tabasco sauce to make it a little bit spicy, but yeah. I'm a little nervous to try the beans specifically, but I plugged it all into my fitness pal. Um, so for the beans, I of course couldn't find exactly what I put, so I found pinto beans, which is what these are, boiled with salt. I also put onion and garlic, so it's probably a little bit more than that. Um, chicken breast, the breadcrumbs, and the egg, and it ends up being 462 calories, which really isn't that bad for dinner. So my day today, as long as I don't eat anything else, I'm at... 1,216 calories. So that's including this here, my lunch, which was chicken and brown rice from Chipotle, my breakfast, which was a yogurt parfait, my coffee, and then my grapes that I had for snacks. So let's try this. Got a couple of wiener dogs looking over my shoulder. I'm sure they wouldn't mind having some. Okay, beans. Hmm. They're a little bit more tough than I thought. I thought they'd be a little bit more soft because I cooked them for so long. Because I cooked them for another two hours today. But they're good. Hmm. I like the seasoning in it. They're good. They're actually very good. Okay. Now it's time for the chicken. I have a feeling the chicken's going to be fantastic because why wouldn't it? But, <sighs> Ew, what is that on the bottom? Is that a bean? Piece of a bean. Okay. All right, guys, so it's day three of gluten-free, and I'm feeling, like, really crappy today. I think, for one, I have that headache that hasn't gone away. It's like this lingering headache at the top of my head. That hasn't gone away. And I got my lash extensions taken off today, which is just making me really sad. So I think I'm just gonna do a really easy dinner. For breakfast, I had a yogurt. So I was going to eat, I had these in my fridge. One of these right here, which are the Chobani Simply 100 Crunch Blueberry Cookie Crumbles. But I looked really closely at the ingredients and there's wheat in them. So it does say it contains milk and wheat. So that means there's gluten in it, so I had to put it back, but I did grab one of these. So luckily I have some of these. So these are the Dan and Light and Fit Greek Strawberry Cheesecake, and they don't have any gluten in them. So I had that for breakfast, and one of my kind bars, a blurry, one of my kind bars that I showed you. I had some cotton candy grapes for a snack, and then for dinner, or for lunch, I had my leftovers from dinner yesterday. So... Today for dinner, I, I think I'm just going to have a bowl of cereal. So these are the days when I'm having headaches and I'm just feeling like poopy. I just eat a bowl of cereal for dinner. It's not usually a habit. I don't do it very often, but this is what I'm going to eat. So this is gluten-free honey crunch. I've never had this in my entire life, so I have no idea what it tastes like. But for three-fourths of a cup, there's only 110 calories and 9 grams of sugar, which isn't too bad. I'll probably eat more than three-fourths of a cup. I'll probably eat a whole cup just because this is all I'm eating. And I want to make sure I'm full so I don't snack. But that's dinner. <laughs> I am literally obsessed.
obsessed with this idea of going to Chipotle and just ordering chicken and rice. Like, it's such a good deal. And this is proof, so this is exactly what I showed you guys yesterday, except for I had them add a little bit of sofritas on there for me because I want to see what it tastes like for my vegan week. I want to see, you know, if I can do the same thing, maybe just get sofritas and rice. So I had them actually add a little bit of extra, which is why it looks a little bit bigger. And they charged me, and this is the side of the jalapeno sauce, this time, they only charged me $3.31. So this is proof that when you order it, they really don't know what to do. <laughs> but the most I've had them charge me so far is $4.75. Or was it $4.50? Whatever it was a couple of days ago. Okay, so here is tonight's dinner. It's actually really late right now. It's 8 o'clock. But I worked from home today, and after I was done working, I laid on the couch and I fell asleep for three hours. And then I woke up and I was like groggy and didn't feel good. Long story short, I think I'm getting sick. And I don't think that has anything to do with being gluten free this week. But that's why I'm eating so late. I don't eat this late usually. So this is what I'm eating. This modern table meals. I got this from Target. It's a gluten free pasta. So it is, it says right down there, non-GMO, gluten free, no artificial preservatives or colors. It looks like the pasta is actually made out of lentils, which is really cool. This also has a lot of protein in it, I'm guessing from the lentils. Ugh, don't look at my nails, they're gross. Chop up some chicken and like serve that maybe on the side, that way I just have more protein and more like substance to the meal. I'm also gonna add some broccoli to it, like some fresh broccoli, just because I've had this broccoli for a while, it's probably gonna go bad, and you can never have too much broccoli, right? So the mac and cheese is actually not very healthy as far as calorie count goes. So it has 390 uh, calories in one cup, which I feel like that's a lot. Um, so even though it's lentil pasta, it's still a lot. And then the chicken breast, I assume about 5 ounces is probably what I'll eat. And that's 160 calories plus the broccoli. So it's 574 calories, which is more than I've been eating on a typical day. But the rest of my day was pretty light. So after I plugged everything in, so I have my Chipotle, which is probably a little bit more than 350, but it's okay. And then my breakfast and my snack, I had some more cotton candy grapes. Come on. Ugh, it's frozen. There we go. Cotton candy grapes. I'm at 1,254. I'm way over on protein, which is great. So I'm at 48 grams over protein. So protein is what keeps you full throughout the day. I'm under for carbs, under for sugar, a little tiny bit over for fat, but not a whole lot. Um, cholesterol, again, that's from the eggs. So, and then multivitamin and vitamins. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm kind of scared to look at the macros today. Oh, macros came out good today. So this is what I like to see, even numbers of each, about even numbers of each. So, all right, let's cook this dinner. Okay, it hasn't been a week yet. It's actually only been four days. And I didn't show you guys when I first weighed in because honestly, I was quite embarrassed. I had gained back eight pounds from the last time I weighed in with you guys. I was at 161. But I've been doing the gluten-free, staying around 1,200 calories every day and exercising about 30 minutes every day. Let's see what that means. What? That can't be right. I would love it if that was right, but that can't be right. Let's try that again. I don't think that's right, but I used this same exact scale and I was 161 four days ago. Is it possible to lose that much weight that quickly? I don't, I'm confused. I keep saying the same thing. What? Hold on. Same thing. Wow. What? That means I lost like seven pounds in four days? Is that possible? I mean, I guess I kind of feel like I lost seven pounds. I'm not wearing a bra, so I'm not going to show you guys. Wow. Okay. Wow.